Why does she have moths flying around her? They look like moths, don't they? Is it her antique leather armor? Or she had moths for ages and I just never noticed. They're flies? Moths? No, they're like... They look like a bug of some sort. Why <laughs> does she have bugs around her? Is it this? Because it's old? I don't know. Interesting. Alrighty then. Uh... I really don't know what that means. I assume it means something, and it's probably bad. Uh, right. I guess I could take all her armor off to find out if it's something she's wearing. Yeah, because they're not butterflies. They look like bees or flies. That's going to bug me. She's naked! Almost. She still has bugs around her. Well, it's not any of the equipment she was wearing. Is there a way to see status effects? She doesn't appear to have any. She has that, which is normal leadership thing. No, it's not who I have selected, so. Oh well, maybe one day I'll know what it means. But today isn't that day, because I can't figure it out. Okay, so you got the empty bottle. A silver bar. Interesting. Interesting. Just wonder if there's something behind it. I already looked in that. What do we have here? Oh, it's just in that sp <laughs> Ah! You're right, Richie. They are just in that spot. I'm just... Yeah, okay. I never looked in that barrel. I got too distracted by moths. I can't believe that. <laughs> I spent ten minutes and they're just ambient in the spot. Whirlwind skill book. Oh. Mine. Can I take that? Oh, I can light it. All right, let's look at that couple of things here we want to look at. Whirlwind skill book. Requires level 7. Man at arms skill. Hmm. Well, he already knows that skill. But she doesn't. I didn't give her that, did I? I gave her a magical armor potion. 
Okay, well, let's give her that for now, then. Useless. All right. Just toss it on the floor, then. We've got empty bottles, which we can fill with water. Unidentified old copper amulet. Well, let's identify that sucker. I can't identify it? Ah. Level 2 lore master. Darn it. Your next level isn't for a while. Okay, well, we'll hang on to it. I don't... I'm sure that you can't just equip it and have the effect happen because... Well, if you could do that, what's the point of having the, the lore master ability? Right? 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 Right. Okay. I thought I saw... I thought there was a message that came up when I tried doing that. I didn't do it this time. Okay. Only does it the first time, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Oh, uh, what's that? Secrets of the Scroll, Volume 2. I'll have that. Fun with fluids. Magical Lant. Oh, it's a chandelier. I say Magical Lant is floaty. Why is... It, it's upside down, isn't it? Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, it was floating. Interesting. A minor strength potion. A mushroom. Let's get that mushroom. Yes, I'm totally ignoring the thing in the middle of the room. <laughs> On purpose. Because, well, oh, let's let's talk to the rat. Can I select the rat? Maybe I'll go down. There we go. Let's go talk yes. to the Squeak! Don't touch that grave unless you're prepared to face the strongest ghost alive. Well, alive? Goodbye! Goodbye. Okay. Translation save before <laughs> before doing that. Ah. Minor strength potion. Not enough space. Are you out of room? You're not out of room. See? I told you you were not out of room. Minor strength, you take that. Is that better than what we just got? It is. Uh, it is and it isn't. This one has resistances. This one doesn't. Is it worth the extra four points? See, this one requires less strength. I don't know if anybody else can wear it, though. Strength five. Nobody else can wear it. Ha! Huh. Whale? I guess I'll ponder that. I'll hang on to it for the moment. Can't move those. Cool if you could take the covers off those. Okay, well, I don't think. Is there anything there? No, there's. Nope, 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 don't actually go there, please. Alright. 
So, do you think we should save this before we try opening this? <laughs> okay, how about everybody kind of... Let, let's go stand over here. And let's break her away. Uh, yes, I did see that, Richie. I did, as soon as I saw you were saying the flies were the only ones in that corner. I was like, no. <sighs> Okay. C c can I rotate this? Wahaha. <laughs> ah, right. Um, you, could you move here, please? No, no, I want you all behind here. Thank you. You can go there. There, that'll do. Can you open that without walking out? Of course not. Um. I see no ghosts whatsoever. I see traps, potentially. Or just a design. I see no... just me, but I think that, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just to f fix things while I can't fight. So we could put another screen, like, uh, oh, here. Hmm. Oh, you have to have the big burly guy open it, maybe. Good idea, Richie. I will try that. Let's put her back here. Come here, big burly guy. Let's separate you. Oh, let's put her back in the chain. Let's select you. See, I was trying her because she has uh, telekinesis. Well, that's our burliest guy. <laughs> I'm not seeing any message overhead. All right. Um, hidden crypt. Well, I guess we will go out. This isn't the lighthouse. I was thinking this was the lighthouse. And I guess we will put a marker on this saying... Well, let me put put a marker on here. Uh, yeah, I will try that in a minute. I will. <laughs> I'm just putting this here because I can always take it away. Okay, so let's go back down. Okay, well, let's get everybody behind the makeshift screen here. Okay, I'll try click and move it and see if that works. How about you go here? I'm just going to make a nice little... kind of a... place to hide for everybody. Okay, we'll see how that works. It may be totally pointless. But you don't know until you try, eh? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to move you all individually, aren't I? Okay, Val. Let's try with you first. Let's put you over here. You... I want you to go here. You. 
They're going to be right behind Val over here. And we're going to move this thingy. Nope. I want the torch. Thingy. Yeah. Let's move that. That's not what I want it to move. This is what I want it to move. Thank you. Let's put it over there. Okay. So you can stay there and... You will put you right here. And then we can hook them all back together again. Well, not yet. I can hook you two together. Something like that. Bow. I can't throw that far. Okay, if we have to actually go up to it, let's put you here. Near brawn. I can't throw it that far. Well, I don't want you to throw it. I don't want you to move it. I think it thinks I'm trying to lift up the whole thing. <laughs> trying to hit it. Eh, it's not working. Um, can't attack it. Can't move it. I mean, really, if, if a ghost is supposed to show up, why didn't he just show up as soon as I, well, moved the lid or tried to move it? Where are you, you mouse? You lied to me. Where's that mouse? I expected the mouse to go, ha ha ha, I fooled you, didn't I? Hmm. Can't click on it, can't shift move it, can't attack it. I used Blitz bolt, bolt on the Tomb Lid. Did absolutely nothing. Let's make it cold. I can't make it cold. No. Uh... I can't select it. So I can't teleport it. Well, they're all selected, so if there was a such a thing as using them all to move the lid, like Richie suggested, that might work. No, it doesn't work. Um, right. All I can think is either we're too low level or it's broken. By the way, whoever was here last, very untidy. <laughs> nope. Nope. I have no idea what chest you're talking about. If you're talking about this chest, yes, I opened it. it no problem. 
Yes, I did open that chest. It wasn't a trouble. That's where we found the... I can't... A uh, piece of armor, I think. You are lying. Wretched mouse. Rat. Whatever you are. What's this? Oh, I looked in that. Alright, I give up. For now. I'll have to look it up and see if there's a reason why we can't get in there like it's broken. Or I'm supposed to do a tap dance on the lid while singing uh, over the moon. The moon in the sky like a big pizza pie. Or something like that. I don't know. Cool. Uh, hidden temple or something. Uh, uh, hidden crypt. H something like that. The name of it... Uh, let me just go back down inside. I think it was Hidden Crypt, but let me just check. Forgotten Crypt is what it's called. There, I just put the name of it in chat. <clears throat> I have had a kind offer to l check to see if there's a bug or if there's some blindingly obvious thing that I'm not trying. In the meantime, there's another set of bodies down here. You were right. Well, I was trying to drag the lid off. How do you drag the lid off? Well, she has telekinesis. Oh, give me a break. You have to put it right beside it. Okay. I call shenanigans on that. <clears throat> All right. Let's look. Whoa! Wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, we should buy these off of them. I bet they're his weapons. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Snorri says, Hello, folks! Having a bully day? I'm having a bully day. Pushing, pulling, lifting. Look at them muscles. Ah, just like my days at the fair. Yes, thank you, Richie. You did try once more, but I mean... <sighs> okay. Uh, that's, it seemed a little odd to me. It should, it shouldn't... Ah, never mind. I'm just not having a good day, so... <laughs> ah, Valentine says, Care to tell me a bit about yourself? I used to sail the seven seas with the best of them, better than the best of them. But I found my true calling at the country fair, the strongest man in Sicil I was, and they billed me as such. So Valentine says, what do you mean, your days at the fair? Now those were swell times. How people marveled at my feats of strength. Boy, was I the cat's pajamas back then. Anyone could go up against me in a grand old bare knuckle jamboree, but did they ever best me? Baloney. Uh, so if I ask him if he likes to fight, he's going to say yes, and then he's going to use those uber weapons on me. <laughs> well, he likes us, so maybe not. Um, so you like to fight, do you? Now, now, I'm not the violent guy. Don't get me wrong. Make no mistake. But, you know, there's no harm in a little rough housing now and again, putting on a show for the roaring, roaring crowd. Plenty challenged me in the old days, but none managed to best Snorri. No, sir. Valentine says, Nobody, eh? Uh, let's change the subject, shall we? <laughs> I don't think I want Valentine saying that she can beat him. Because it's not Valentine that could possibly do it. I can't talk to him now? Oh, no. Oh. 
Uh, let's change the subject. I'll Bye. take my leave. Okay. I had to exit out. Greetings. Okay, yeah, out with it then. Get a wiggle on. Care to tell me a bit about yourself? So you like to fight? I bet I could best you myself. Scrawny against Brawny. Could have been a nice title fight at the fair. Here are the rules, Hotshot. I'm going to summon an item, something only Snorri himself could smash. And if he can manage to break it in 35 seconds, you'll have won the challenge. Don't go getting any pie-in-the-sky hopes up, though, Pally Pal. This'll be nothing to sneeze at. There she is, Noodle Arms. So what are you made of? Oh, get over there. I can't even hit it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Everybody quit moving with him. I can't even hit it. Okay. That's huh. Just as I suspected. Let Snorri show you how it's done. Okay. <laughs> That was as easy as cherry pie. What else have you got, huh? Put them up! Hmm... He's not giving me any information about him. Alright. Have a spider. He pro if he's a fighter, he might have that. Let's move back. No, 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 no. Crap. 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 Oh, I am so screwing things up. As usual today. Oh, jeez. Knockdown failed. Well, we did some damage. I suppose that's something. Okay, so how do you teleport into the air? Because it says you can teleport them into the air. Of course, Valentine is right there, which is not good, but... But he'll have to go through her spider, who's almost dead. Uh... How about, uh... We just get the heck out of dodge using all the action points, but And I can't cast it again, unfortunately. Oh. I doubt poisoning is going to do any good. Invalid target. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, might need to come back with things that can actually hurt him. But we'll learn as much as we can from this fight before he kills everybody. <laughs> and I have to reload. That's okay. See, if I'd bought those items off him, I wonder if he would have had no weapons. Right, so she can't actually hit him. Oh good, he missed. Just gonna kinda spread them out. Don't wanna put them in a corner though. Fumbled on applying chilled. Okay. We'll try that. We did damage him. Right. Let's try this one on him. Okay. Pretty sure poison wouldn't do anything to him. Uh, that's an AoE. I don't think I want to use that. Oh! That's what I did. I did make an arrow, I think, when I was messing about. I think you get a scroll like that for the arrow. Or I could be totally imagining things. That's always possible. Um, I don't think there's anything she can really do. Scroll-wise. So I don't think a water arrow is going to do... But she could use that sometime to actually turn off or to get rid of some fire, so I'm going to put that there. Lowers your target's dexterity. Well, let's try that. She'll probably miss, but what the heck. Or maybe she'll hit him. We might actually get him. And nobody's dead yet. <laughs> ah. I'm afraid to put her right behind him because I think he'd kill her in one hit. So instead, I'm going to have her use this on him. Just in case he does a bunch of damage. And... Okay. He's just going to hit it. have to hit him the plain old way now. We did it! I don't believe it! We did it! Ah! But look at how much damage he took. Another round and he would have been toast. Ah! In fact, that heal might have actually saved his life. I'm not sure how many hit points he had left. I didn't notice before it went up. Wow. Let's save that puppy. <laughs> Just in case something happens. Oh my god, we killed him. And we get those without paying any money at all. <laughs> ah. Oh, we only got one of them. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> ah. 
I only got the one super powerful weapon. Oh, wait, no, the other one flew way over here. Let's get that. Oh, wow. I wonder... Uh, could you give those to Val, please? She needs to try to identify them. Level 1, identify, yes. Yes! Woohoo! Good job, Valentine! <laughs> ah! And Val good job, everybody, because everybody contributed. <laughs> I can't believe we killed him when he did that much damage in one hit. Oh, wow. Okay, Val, let's see what, what we got. Okay, here's the two weapons. Let's put something uh, boring up there. We need to read these two, actually. Uh, what's this? Secret of the Scroll. Fish can't live in the sky. Chant paper with pixie dust to make a setting suitable for the magic that will flow through you. Oh, so about writing scrolls. So let's give these to him because they're safe to sell now. Alright. Identification time. It looks like this is a two-handed sword. It's 41 to... Ah, wow. Uh, requires strength 8. Okay, so now we have a sharp two-handed axe. And what has it got? Oh, wow. Okay, so this one does slashing plus air. So it does 87 as well. Can she sharpen these? Uh, does she have a whetstone? We might have to go to a, go to try to make them better. Yeah, no wonder he reason he was kicking our posteriors without too much effort. So I guess if you're fighting something you know that's uh, vulnerable to air, then you could use this. Or whatever. So I think he was carrying around two axes. Or two weapons. I think Braveheart's going to carry them around. Braveheart. You lucky dog you. So he, what he has currently does to 78. Yeah. So this one total will do more, unless whatever it is is resistant to earth, and this one might do more. So he's currently using a crippling old-handed two-handed axe, but he's not anymore. I'm going to put that down there. I think I'm going to equip... Oh, look at that. It's kind of got an electricity kind of effect to it, and this one is the one that the guy was using. Okay, so this requires four action points. They both require four action points. So I think the axe is better overall. Does crippling weaken orcs? Hmm. Well, I guess he can hang on to all of them. I mean, once we can actually see some of that question mark stuff. Uh, I think I'll let him run around with the axe. Because this one can poison. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stuff that he can potentially sell down there. And his, what I consider his secondary weapons will go here. The new axe can poison. Yep. Right. Wow.
Oh, that will he that heals? Are you sure about that? Do you know for sure that it will heal, or is that just your theory? Well, yeah, well, yeah, in Minecraft, zombies can get healed by poison, but is that true in Divinity? Well, I know they don't take poison damage, but it, I don't remember it healing them. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up. I'll look it up, because there's a difference between being immune to poison and poison actually healing you. So I'll give him... I thought I swapped these. There we go. Okay, so I'll have him use that. Does it say that? Who is her? <laughs> Not sure who you're talking about. I can't check to see if I don't know who you're talking about. Her? Okay, so poisoning would be what? zombie. let you heal from poison. Well, the talent lets you heal from poison, but that may not apply to a regular zombie, but I will err on the side of caution and take and have him use the other one until I can check that. If we're fighting zombies. I'll have to remember to change. Did Oh, you're kidding me. What? Why did you reorder this? I had them ordered the way I wanted. Hack? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind looking that up, because... I mean, you could very well be right, but... I would like to be sure... <laughs> on that factoid. Alright. Don't suppose there's anything else lying about that he might have dropped? Nope, looks like that's it. Let's get out of here. Enough oogling the, the new hardware. Oh, really? Okay. So you can separate them into two groups. Interesting. I didn't know you could actually take them to different areas. Okay. <laughs> That's great. I'm running around with that. Okay, so undead are healed by poison. Okay, so all right then, thank you very much both for Poison heals zombies. 
Okay, poison heals anything that's zombified, but not skeletons. All right. We've been fighting skeletons. So until I see something that says zombie, I will use that. All right. Otherwise, we'll heal them. All right, now that the gang's, well, almost back together, let's hook them up. Let's put you here. No, up there. Thank you. And you, again, on. Let's go here. I just want to see. No, we can't go up behind there. Looking for things. Please do. I'll make a fortune selling the book rights to my autobiography, The Last Legionnaire. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm just getting... There's people over here. Uh, I will... I want to look at these first. Then we'll go see who's talking over there. Put fire on the poison. And f so poison actually light is like oil. It bursts into flame or explodes or something. Oh. Lovely. That's actually a cool detail. Okay. Yeah, um... It's been so long, like, because I don't get to play this as much as I would like, I forget stuff. So, yeah. Um, so if you say that I the first time they taught us about firing into poison clouds, then I'll believe you because, well, <laughs> I just don't remember. Right, so who is talking... There you are. Hello. Sturdy wooden chest. Right back there. Uh, excuse me. It's okay if we look at this chest. It's locked. Okay, we'll investigate that in a minute. Uh, are you running around with your weapon out? You are. Put it away. Why would I want to switch it to the axe? Or switch it to the sword? Um... Richie, because unless it's zombified, I would want to use the axe, not the sword. It's the axe that poisons. Okay, so we have Lucia and we have Malice. Okay. Oh, thank the seven. Lucia, it's the source hunter. We're not going to die on this haunted cliff after all. We have nothing to sell. Okay. Braveheart. Uh, Lucy says, who's dying? We're just resting up. The calm before the storm. Those ghosties at the lighthouse won't know what hit them. Yeah, so Braveheart says, or no, I get to pick for Lucia? No, that must be a bug, because Braveheart was the one talking. About the ghosts at the lighthouse. There we go. Lucia says, there's certainly something fishy happening. The light shines sure as the tides, though there's not been an attendant there for nearly two decades. Our platoon made a pact with Aureus. 
we checked out the lighthouse, and if we made it back, we'd get a ticket home. Malleus says, what Aureus failed to mention was that it wasn't just the ghosts at the lighthouse we had to worry about. It was every savage skeleton on the way there and back, too. When we started, we were seven. Now Lucy and I are the last alive. And Lucia says, survival of the fittest, I say. We're just here marshalling our strength before hauling into that lighthouse with our swords blazing. Malleus says, ha, marshalling our strength indeed. To be honest, we've been shaken like chihuahuas, praying for a way out of this mess. And it seems like the seven have sent you. And Lucia says, ah, Malleus, your dignity's in a puddle at your feet. As for me, an honorable soldier and servant to Rivalon, I'm not afraid to ask nicely. <laughs> uh, Lucia says, so what do you say, Source Hunter? Will you check out the lighthouse in the name of your comrades at arms? If Aurea sees the place is cleared, we'll be on the next ship out of Sysil and back to our families. Oh, so you're not only wanting us to check it out for you, but you want you want us to say that you checked it out. I guess it depends on the terms of your deal. If you actually come back after the lighthouse is checked out, but it, you don't have to specifically check it out personally. Because you did, well, you did get this far and you did fight, so I says you'll take my leave. Malia says you'll go to the lighthouse and straighten matters out, yes? Let us know what you find. Alright, uh, let's talk to Lucia. What's the matter? Scared of a few ghosts? We're giving him a chance to say their prayers before we send them back to their makers. Uh, when we're through with them, they'll stay dead. I just wanted to see if she No, nothing to sell. I'm talking to Lucia. Why am I seeing Malleus's inventory? I guess because he's the leader? Alrighty then. Does it now show? No, it still shows him. I thought maybe it would switch and show Bye. her instead. Alright, I guess we're showing... Yeah, okay. This is where we were headed, so I, I suppose... Um... Sorry, I'm just looking around to see if we see anything interesting that... Because there's spots to dig and stuff that I'm sure I've missed. In fact, somebody told me as much. But I don't really consider this area fully explored. Uh, I won't consider it fully explored until... Uh, well, we've explored it. In all the nooks and crannies, which we have not done. However, I'm going to save it here. And uh, I'm going to try to pick that lock. Or more specifically... Braveheart is going to try to pick that lock. He, it worked! Yes! Good job! Let's a Val open it. <laughs> ah. Oh! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> okay. Um... Let's give it, let's let Val take them all and then we'll divvy the, divvy it out. Cause she already had one of those. Please do. I'll make a fortune selling the book rights to autobiography. He still has one. She needs one. And Braveheart has one, so let's give one to her. Even though she's the one that's most likely to drop dead first. To you. No, I wanted to give her one, not all of them. Thank you. Right. So she can put that on her hot bar. Well, actually, no, I guess not on the hot bar because I usually wait till after battle, so, right. Okay. You're not the person I want. Right. Can we identify these? Actually, let's get away from the noise here before we do this. We're going to hear these guys saying the same conversation over and over. Let's get back over here. It's a little quieter. <clears throat> Alright. 
Now we can hear ourselves think. Well-made aged robe of water resistance. Oh. Well, I'm not sure which one sh I'd rather her have. Uh, well, let's give this to him. Oh, need level two. Did you reorder things on me again? No? Okay. That's... Can I... Yes, I can look at this one. What have we got here? Blessed, outdated male armor of experience. HP plus any armor specialist plus one. What does armor specialist do? Uh, probably defense. Proves your armor rating by 5% per point and decreases heavy armor movement penalty by 20%. Oh. Um, I think we should give that to Braveheart. Then. All right. All right, Braveheart. Here's your new stuff. What? What's wrong with it? Why can't you wear it? Where are you? I had to tell you to equip it like that. Nice. Very nice. Traveling bracers, so that means... I don't know... I don't know if you have bracers already. You might do. Oh, Jahan's got better bracers. Right, so we'll equip this. Ooh, it's blue. Because of the water, and it's got the water sign on it, too. That's cool. So let's give that to her. I don't think she's going to be wearing it, but we'll give it to her anyway. Uh, yeah. You can keep that. That's yours. And let's go to her. So what have you got? Armor rating 1, armor rating 1. Okay, so we can sell that. Alright, so we'll equip that on her. Because that's better than what she had. By a little bit. And let's give that to Braveheart to sell. Whirlwind skill book. Requires level 7. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Alright. I think I'm going to save it here now that we got our guys all kitted up with their latest finds. I think they're looking pretty good. That's a boring robe, but I'm not going to tell her that. Is that a broken loot or something? Eh, not sure. Anyway, I think they're looking pretty cool. I really like that weapon. With all its glowy bits. You look good in blue. <laughs> Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you found today's episode of Ineptitude of Interest.